Oppo has decided to up the selfie game of their latest smartphone with AI technology. That, along with great design, are essentially what make up the Oppo F5. What's up guys, Joey Maceda here and this is our in-depth hands-on with Oppo's newest device. The appearance of the F5 up front makes it conform to 2017 design standards. A large 18x9 display with slim bezels, curved edges, a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner, and a metal unibody. This is probably Oppo's sleekest smartphone to date. The front panel is home to a 6-inch display with an 18x9 aspect ratio, the call speaker, and the 20-megapixel front camera, which we'll get back to in a moment. Mounted on top is Gorilla Glass. Moving to the back, you will see the 16-megapixel rear camera, LED flash, and the dedicated fingerprint scanner. The left side houses the volume buttons, while the right side has the power button and a triple card tray, which can house two nano-sized SIM cards and a micro SD card. Down at the bottom are the loudspeaker, micro USB port, main microphone, and the headphone jack. Now with most of the 2017 design boxes ticked, it's strange to see that they still use the micro USB port over Type-C. The F5 has a 6-inch 18x9 IPS display with a resolution of 2160x1080, which makes for a total pixel density of 402 ppi. It's crisp, colors pop just right, viewing angles are good, and it's certainly bright enough for outdoor use. Running the software department is Android 7.1.1 Nougat with Oppo's very own Color OS 3.2 on top. It takes a simple and clean approach to Android, trading an app drawer for multiple home screens as well as keeping simple icons and stylish notification and control screens. Pre-installed apps include a phone manager app which is a one-stop shop for your device optimization needs, some proprietary standard utilities, the Google suite of apps, and Facebook. Storage-wise, all in all, the phone leaves the user 22.1 gig of usable storage out of 32. One of the main features of the Oppo F5 is its camera. It has a 16 megapixel camera at the rear and a 20 megapixel camera up front. It's packed with features like HDR, time lapse, panorama, expert, and beauty mode. Performance-wise, the 16 megapixel rear camera can produce photos that are crisp with rich yet vibrant colors and good dynamic range, especially if you're shooting outdoors. Low light performance is decent, but it still has noticeable noise. The 20 megapixel front camera, on the other hand, is equipped with Oppo's very own AI beautification technology. Instead of your standard face detection, the Oppo F5's front camera can detect more than 200 points on your face to identify which parts need enhancing. Oppo then uses its database of facial features to make the necessary adjustments for a more natural result. Oppo emphasizes that the database is from Oppo's very own R&D department and that the F5 itself doesn't store or send out any of that information. As for its performance, the F5 selfie camera does a great job with its beauty enhancement features. It's very subtle but very effective and it doesn't look like someone just overused the healing brush in Photoshop. The depth effect also performs well and works best when there's a good distance between subject and background. The blur is still artificial but only noticeable when you zoom in on the photo. As for video recording, both the rear and front cameras can shoot MP4 videos at full HD 30 frames per second. Quality is good as well, although the rear camera's autofocus is a little bit jittery, but the front can consistently lock on the subject's face. And that's about it for our in-depth hands-on of the Oppo F5. Be sure to stay tuned for our full review next week. This has been Joey Maceda. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.